Dear friends, Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Nadeem Academy. Today we'll be talking about the factors of production and what are the characteristics of factors of production. In our previous video, we talked about what actually the factors of production are. And I told you that factors of production are the important or essential parts of the production. Unless you do not have all these factors of production, you won't be able to produce any product or service. And these factors of production were four, land, labor, capital, and enterprise. So we'll discuss about the characteristics of each factor of production today in this video. So let's take a look. The first factor of production is land. And look at the definition for the land. It includes all natural resources which can be used for production of goods and services, whatever on surface of the soil and beneath. It is considered as land. It means land not only includes whatever available on the surface of the land, like buildings, like agriculture, crops, etc., or forests, rivers, etc., but whatever the natural resources provided by Almighty are beneath the land, like natural gas, petrol, oil, etc., whatever available on the land whatever is on the surface of the land and beneath the land is considered as a land. This is the complete definition in terms of economics for land. Now, what are the characteristics of land? Let's take a look. Characteristic number one is free gift of nature. Land is the free gift of the nature. It is provided by the nature, means it is provided by God and it is free gift while people also own the piece of land and later on they can sell it but naturally whenever we talk about which is pro it is completely provided by the nature and it is a free gift of the nature second one is fixed quantity and inelastic supply it has got a fixed quantity we cannot increase the quantity of the land but people usually go and clear the forest deforestation is going to give you an extra land on which you can cultivate anything but that is dangerous for the climate or people usually turn the way of the rivers in order to create more space for the cultivation but that is not the solution indeed in spite of that land is fixed and its supply is totally inelastic means we had covered the detail of the elasticity in our uh, demand chapter you can refer back to that video as well then third important characteristic of land is land is immobile now there are two types of the mobility remember number one occupational mobility and number two geographical mobility while land in terms of occupational mobility it is mobile it means you can go and cultivate anything for example on piece of land today i'm cultivating a cotton but in the winter we can go and cultivate wheat fine or we can build a building on it so occupationally land is mobile while geographically land is immobile you cannot transfer a piece of land from one place to another place that is why it is considered as immobile then fourth one is land is a passive factor land itself is not going to work like capital like machinery technology once you start it it automatically works but land is a passive factor and human efforts are required in order to make it active suppose a piece of land is available for agriculture unless human beings or the labor is not going to cultivate the land then land is not going to produce anything except the natural vegetation. Then fifth one is land is permanent. We cannot destroy the land, piece of land. We cannot go and reduce its availability. There happens that sometime land becomes barren or etc. but it has the solutions. So these are the characteristics of 
land. This was the first factor of production that we have discussed today and I hope everyone understood it and this was quite easy. So like, comment and share this video, subscribe my channel and don't forget to click the bell icon for upcoming videos. Thank you very much.